Hi there. In this video, we're going to be talking about the unbiasedness of least squares estimators um, under the gauss markov assumptions. So let's just remind ourselves exactly what it means for an estimator to be unbiased. If I have some sort of population, and within that population, there is some sort of population process, so sort of y equals alpha p plus beta p x plus u. Yeah, so there's some sort of population process. And if I take repeated samples from that population, sort of S1, S2, all the way through to sort of Sn, where n is sort of a very large number, and if I apply my estimator to each of these different samples, so I'm applying my sort of beta hat OLS to S1, S2, and Sn, um, then the idea is that by applying my estimator to each of these samples, I am getting an estimate of the population parameter beta p. Or, or we, we could be thinking about alpha p as well, but in this video we're going to be talking about beta, beta p. Then if I was to draw a frequency graph where I represented the frequency which all these different values of uh, beta p were obtained, and I was to sort of draw a plot of that, then one of the properties I would quite like that plot to have would be that it was centered around the true value. Yeah, so what does that mean? That means that if I apply my estimator beta hat to each of these samples, on average, it comes out with an estimate for beta p, which is about right. And how do we write that mathematically? Well, we write that the expectation of beta hat, so the expectation of our estimator beta hat, is equal to beta p. And this is the property which we call um, the unbiasedness of estimators. Okay, so that's just reminding ourselves of what it means for an estimator to be unbiased. Now let's think about unbiasedness in the context of least squares estimators. Um, first of all, I just want to make clear that this isn't sort of a dot of N on top of the beta p here, it's just uh, something I crossed out. So don't, don't confuse that for anything else. Okay, so let's think about a model. So I have a bivariate sort of population process, which is y equals, or yi, equals alpha p plus beta p xi um, plus ui. So this is some sort of bivariate model whereby I've only got one independent variable explaining my uh, variation in my dependent variable. And if I was to use least squared estimators to estimate this, and then my formula for beta hat would be that beta hat is equal to the sum of i equals 1 to n, so summing over all the points in my sample, of xi minus x bar times yi, all over um, the sum of xi minus x bar, all squared. Again, where I'm summing across all points in my sample. Uh, and, and we've shown this in previous videos. When we actually derive the least squared estimator, we, we prove this. So if you don't know where we've got to here, it's probably best you go back and have a look at the previous videos. Um, okay, so can we get out of this something a bit more useful? So if we substitute in the actual true population process for, for yi, so we, we use the this above model in to substitute for this yi here, uh, then we're going to get something a bit more useful, uh, something that's a bit more useful in terms of it's going to allow us to look at the property of unbiasedness of estimators. So Substituting in for yi, I get alpha p plus beta p xi plus ui. Yeah, and then on the bottom I've still got this sort of um, sum of xi minus x bar all square, which I'm going to call sxx. Okay, so if I then uh, continue this further by sort of multiplying out each of these terms, I will get something which is the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times alpha p plus, again, um, let's keep the sum all in one sort of place, I get sort of xi minus x bar times uh, xi beta p plus, finally, I get this xi minus x bar times ui. And remember again that this is all over this SXX. So, okay, it looks like we had something that was quite simple, we've made it more complicated, but I'm gonna show in the next video how this allows us to make some headway into proving the unbiasedness of OLS estimators under the gas mark of assumptions being true. I'll see you then.